boxing gloves to karate chop a bat. He did indeed learn this move at level 13, and his trainer did have the cascade badge, so he felt an obligation to his trainer's strength to listen to him. Because Peter 
PETA will stop at nothing! Oh, oh, you're one of them? Oh, they, what the heck is going on here? Let this primate go! And the zoo vet! They don't deserve the captivity you're forcing them into! I don't force them, he respects my strength! Oh, I see, then why don't you fight instead? Because my primate fights for me! Oh, I see, so he respects your strength in telling him what to do? Courage and friendship is what keeps us strong! Yeah, but I like slavery and manipulation! Harry Plummer said to save you from the dragon. Uh, are you are you seriously making me roleplay Super Mario Brothers with you? No, no, no. <laughs> no. Bowser's a turtle. I know it. I know it's something you love, but it seriously would hell of a mood kill for me. Plus, you're not chubby or hairy. A little chubby, and like fudge, fudge. Yeah, you know. Okay, how about this? How about this? How about this? Okay. I will be a buff martial artist, and you will be an android sent from the future to stop me by any means necessary. It's okay though, you're 18. Do you, do you seriously think I'm stupid or something? That's literally Dragon Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Whatever, it's weird. Well, I don't know what I could do to put you in the mindset for a roleplay scenario, like 
Wait, give me just a second. Here. Put this on. Uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> like that? Yes, exactly like that. Right. Now, you are an evil or probably good ninja who's too busy with his dark and brooding ways to pay any notice to me. Make love to me, Sasuke! <laughs> It's gonna be awesome. I don't know. It just better be better than the last one I went to. D don't worry. I promise it will be. And you know what? I'll tell you why. Through song. Oh, fuck, not again. Oh, come on. The first song we did the show was good. It was okay. No, no, it was freaking awesome. And this one's even better. Just take a listen. All right. How did she always have?
substitute soul reaper. Guess you got ten show up! Oh no! I was supposed to last for two more days. He's gonna be an accountant. Father! Man, fighting these hollow all the time sure is exhausting. Hey, Sengetsu! How can we never talk anymore? Hang out or train? I don't know. We should hang out sometime. Damn. With me? Well, yeah, it's not like I have any other friends who I can spend any time with. I suppose I could teach you a new technique. What, really? Yes. What's it called? It's called the Getsuga Full Moon Strike! That sounds incredible! It is. What do I have to do? Hand me your blade. Now, start by doing 1,000 jumping jacks. I have to do that. Like that. Just like that. Oh, ha! Yes! Ah! Keep training! Ah! Harder! Ah! Harder! Ah! Oh, you can take it! Ah! In the butt! What, what the yes. hell? You're oh, ready. Ass then get your heart! Hi. How long have you been standing here? Long well, enough to watch you start and finish. <laughs> now I need to go find some bleach for my eyes. Good luck with your full moon whatever. Wait, Yoshida, I... Oh, what a bitch. God damn it, Zangetsu. This technique had better be worth it. Oh, it is. Are you ready for the next part? I, I, I guess. W what's next? Okay. First, you face your opponents. Then, turn your back to them. A little counterproductive, no? Trust me, it will work fine. Now, keep them all in your mind's eye as you picture all the evil things you will do to them. Do you have it? I do. Okay, now is the most important part. Bend up! Oh, oh, okay. Yes, a little further. Like that. Now, Drop your pants and moon them! Get you go! Full moon! <laughs> God damn it, Sengetsu, this is why I don't have any friends. Wait, I have more to teach you! Get you go tea bag! Get you go wedgie! Get you go burning bag of dog shit! Welcome to Nate! Yes! Anime! And ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause for that man who can never tell a lie, who is Mama Wells Morgan! Welcome, welcome, yes, yes, welcome everybody to Nay Not Anime! Canada's favorite game show since What's Rob Ford on now? <laughs> I'm your host, Will Forte. You might know me from my acting roles from SNL or my voice acting as Lincoln in Clone High or Lincoln in the Lego Movie or Lincoln in Frostbite. <laughs> MacGruber? Nobody. Great. I'm glad I did that movie. Well, we have a great round for you, to, uh, for you audience today. We have two contestants who have made it all the way to the final round, where they're going to win the grand prize. Ooh! So let's bring them out now and give them a round of applause, our contestants! Woo! Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves? I'm Doug Walker. You guys may know me better as the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Woo! Yes, but it's no wonder you made it this far. You just, you have your web show and your nostalgic know-how. Yeah, I am pretty good at trivia. <laughs> and you, introduce yourself. I'm Christian Michael Teacher O'Leary. I played Goofy in the wildly popular musical Fan of Hearts. I directed the more recent but equally popular musical Frostbite. Um, <clears throat> I'm also <laughs> co-director of this sketch show. <laughs> That's no wonder you made it this far. You just wrote yourself in, didn't you? Being a director has its perks. <laughs> well, enough of this gay banter. Let's get started with the show. For those of you who don't know how to play, one of these two is going to give clues to the other one, and the other will have to name that anime. Hey. Except the person giving clues cannot use any places, things, or character names in their description. You got that? OK. 
Okay. I got it. But just in case, can you repeat the whole thing because I wasn't listening? No! Let's get started then! <laughs> Doug, in round one, you will be guessing first, so go ahead and put this trademark invisible soundproof box over your head. Wait, but I have a couple... Okay then, Christian, the name of the anime you're going to have to have Doug name is... Blue Dragon. And go! Uh, it's an anime based on a video game. Uh, Dragon Age, Fire Emblem, Bayonetta... Nah, uh, nah, it's for kids. Oh, Bomberman? Maple Story? Uh, it's got, uh, mm, art by Akira Toriyama. Mm, oh, Dragon Quest. Uh, awesome. uh, uh, yeah. Blue Dragon! Oh, Alright! Let's give them a round of applause! <laughs> and that was worth 40 points, I don't know, why not? So, let's get on to the next round. Christian, you'll be the one guessing, so go ahead and put the trademark invisible set fruit box over your head! In this round, Doug, you'll be the... Doug, you'll be giving the clues in this one. The name of the anime you have to have him name is Avatar The Last Airbender. The show, not the shitty movie. And <laughs> go! Uh, he's a fast and powerful fighter. Uh, Hanzo from Hunter X Hunter. No. Uh, oh, he fly. Hey, Krillin from Dragon Ball? No. Uh, oh, but he is Ball Girl. Uh, Gluttony from Full Metal Alchemist. So. No. Uh, oh, he can control the elements. Oh, this is really hard, man. Uh, hey, Josh, do you got a strip back there, man? I'm blanking on my lines. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. dude. Is that, that's the script of the show, is that allowed? Well, he is the writer, he can do whatever the hell he wants to, really. He can do whatever the hell he wants to, really. That should be the tattoo of that. Um, Christian Michael Christian Teacher Michael O'Leary Teacher is a better, better director than Joshua Barbo. Weird, who wrote that? Who wrote that in the uh, <laughs> And the answer, Avatar, The Last Airbender. That is correct! Let's give them a round of applause! <laughs> Whatever you like. In fact, let's go to our judges. Judges? We didn't write any. Well, let's down on those 40 <laughs> points, sure. Let's get on to the final round where you'll win the grand prize. Now, in this round, Christian will be giving the clues, except he can't use any words whatsoever. Wait, what? Okay, shut up. Head in box. So, Christian, the name of the anime you're going to have to have Doug name without using any words whatsoever is Dragon Ball Z. And go! Uh, Naruto. <laughs> you look really constipated right now, dude. Come on. Yeah, uh, Legend of Zelda. Ah! Ah! Oh, Dragon Ball Z. That is correct! You guys won the grand prize! Congratulations! Yeah. Whatever works, really. And you guys win the grand prize, which is a dinner and show package to the cage right here! Yay! have one of those, did you? Run. Well, that's the end of the show. I'm probably going to be taken behind a strange Chinese door and put into someone's pee flow main. I'm on 14, this has been the event!
Why didn't you guys tell me he was on the stage? <laughs> hey, Lang! Just let me bust another Deku nut, Saria. Lang! Wake up! Ah! Nabi! <laughs> Hi. What are you doing there? Literally scared my hat right off. You were having a nightmare! Huh. That, <clears throat> that wasn't a nightmare, Nabi. It doesn't matter. Evil is spreading over the land. Can't you feel it? I feel something all right. Are you ready to go on an adventure and save all of Neverland? I mean Hyrule? <laughs> you know, maybe you're right. I have always felt like I've been destined for something. Something bigger than smashing pots and chasing some really, really pissed off chickens. What is with them anyway? They're on crack. KFC rejects? I don't know. <laughs> Look at me, I am Link. People like to call me a big old ding. That's what they think. Look at me, I am Link. I will steal your stuff faster than a blink. With a wing. You will never catch me, cause I'm fast. I'll make sure you'll never kick my ass. I'm a pro at rolling on the ground. I will steal your stuff and I won't make a sound. Yeah! Look at me, I am blink. I push all their pages to the brink. No need to shrink. Look at me, I am blink. People say I dress like I am a twink. Well, they all sing. I have been all alone since my birth. Searching for hidden things across the earth. I will search inside every treasure chest. Everyone in Hyrule will know that I am the best. Yeah! You're just a child. You'll never amount to anything. Your parents are dead. Yeah, like Batman. Yeah, Batman. You're poor because you live in a tree. Wait, we all live in trees. That's besides the point. Orphan Link! Orphan Link! Orphan Link! <laughs> Listen to them, Link. Maybe they're right, Nabby. Maybe I am worthless. adventure ahead of us. Yeah! Let's go save Neverland! I need Hyrule! Oh, I sound pretty useful. Oh, 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 oh. What about me? What about me? Oh, well, let's see. Um, 
Dolan, I don't think you want to read this, Donald. No, Donald. 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 What? What do you mean? Why not? No, no, it's, no, it's, it's, it's just not. It's, it's offensive. Okay, so apparently I'm a magic card. It says Dolan. <laughs> <laughs> what? Gain 200 life points if you're over 4,000 life points and you get attacked. What the hell? I'm useless. Well, I mean, it's accurate. No, no, I just mean, like, remember that one time we met Hero and his friend Baymax? You say ow to Baymax and he heals you, whereas with you, I have to go, Jesus Christ, my Lord of God! And you just still stand in the corner and don't do anything. <laughs> the one time you actually used a potion on him, it got him high. Oh, you know what? I'm not dealing with this. No, wait, you know what? You know what? I have to have a better card than Jiminy Frickin' Cricket. Uh, okay, There's no well, way I am not, I'm beating a button. Okay, let, let's see. Um, okay, Jimmy Cricket, uh, the keeper of the journal, uh, creates a save point, and if you die or lose it, you go back to the save point. This card is awesome! Ah, uh, <laughs> screw this! I need my weed. <laughs> you then. Holy Whoa. God, Whoa. not my weed. <laughs> Are you prepared for what is to come, little boy? I'm always ready. Me and my friends will defeat the darkness. You are nobody, so am I. Uh, what does that even mean? I have no idea. <laughs> Prepare to fight me. I am Vexen! Let's fight! Uh, we can't do anything. We're just cards. And some of us can't do anything anyway. Okay, well maybe if we trust in the heart of the cards. Seriously? All right. All right, first I play Goofy in defense position. Borsh! I activate my magic card, Frostbite. It allows me to summon a zombie. Friends, ah! <laughs> this zombie can attack your life points directly for 2,200 life points. Wait, my points? <laughs> what the heck are those? Oh my god! I think it's what you just lost. Okay, okay. so uh, next I activate Dolan! And Donald, and the card says Dolan. Dolan! Alright, because you're over 4,000 life points and you just got attacked and you gained 200 life points. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really it? Okay, well next up is Goofy's ability, Shield Smash, which destroys your monster! Ah! Ah! Oh, so what? this will last for three more turns? Who's gonna be a doctor? <laughs> Father! You'll pay for that! Alright, well, next I use Dolan Donald Dolan's magic ability, Wand Magic, which because you lost a monster and I have two monsters on the battlefield, and because I'm over 4,000 life points, oh god, I'm not cross-eyed just thinking about this. Regardless, you don't have any monsters, I do, so you just lose! What? How is that even legal? Why is that card not on the ban list? I'll be back for you later. I did! I won! Did you see that? I actually did something useful! Wait a minute. I, mean, I do, but... Where am I? Oh god, I think I lost my memory again. Ow! I said I lost my memory, not I'm passed out or something. Ow! Stop that! <laughs> I think he lost his memory. Seriously? Wait, Donald, were you always a girl? Because now you have duck tits. Woo! Every day I have to squeeze in duck tits. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. But it's not un But that is unusual. Jeez. I don't remember the last time notebooks just flew out of thin air and hit me in the face. Huh. Strange, it's all blank except for these weird black pages at the start. Too bad they're in English and I can only read Japanese. <laughs> Oh well, guess I got a free notebook. My dear Yami. <laughs> you have been chosen <laughs> by me <laughs> to wield that notebook. <laughs> who are you? I am the god who owns that notebook. You can only see me because you touched it. But now, I pass on ownership to you. <laughs> Gee, thanks. I love getting free things. That book is very powerful. Well, what kind of powers does it have? 
It has the very peculiar ability for which it is named. Uh huh. It is the Death Note. Uh huh. Any whose name is written in it will be rendered completely dead. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I'm signing my new notebook so that nobody accidentally takes Wait. it. <laughs> you fool! All whose names will be written in it will be rendered completely dead. You finished writing your name. What? <laughs> hey, why can't I hear my own voice? Is there a trademark invisible soundproof box on my head? Hey, that's, that's mine! You gave that to me! I can hear again. It's a miracle. You're lucky you wrote in pencil, you quiz. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me that no matter whose name I write into this book, They'll be rendered completely deaf? Exactly. I must not use this power lightly. <laughs> That's your name. <laughs> because with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> so I'm going to use this power only for good. I'm going to render all the horrible singers in the world completely deaf so they can't ruin our lives with horrible music. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and to begin, the entire cast of Fandom Musicals! <laughs> 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 Why says shut up, Grandma? I don't want any of your cookies! <laughs> Wait a minute! Hello? Oh my god! I've gone deaf! I can't hear my voice! Oh my gosh, this sketch is ruined! This whole show is ruined! Oh my god! Uh, uh, no, 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 wait, sorry. I had an invisible soundproof box on my head. Uh, my bad, guys. Oh god. Guys, you have to come up with a brand new anime to try this afternoon, or we're all fired. But how? Every idea's been taken already. A hero's quest? And that teenage ninjas? I don't know. I mean, what if we just think of something simple, you know, a basic idea, and we'll go from there? That's gonna make it too simple. We have to get to the yeah. bottom of where it is that makes these animes so popular in the first place. Mm. Well, we know that our viewers are mostly uh, females between the ages of uh, 16 to 26, since okay. we know who they are. Maybe we can figure out what they like? Mm. 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 I've got it! Shirtless guys! Where? Not actually here. I mean, it's an idea. Think about it! <laughs> what have all the major series up until now had in common? Shirtless guys! Look at Naruto. Who is the most beloved character in that whole thing? Sasuke, obviously. And what's the most important thing about his character design? He's Yay. Shirtless. shirtless. Exactly. And Gurren Lagann, what's the most distinguished thing about all the main guys? They're underage. Shirtless. shirtless. We set it together. Exactly. So <laughs> all we need to do, we can bog ourselves down in the idea of all of this. But really, all we need is some dudes' bare chest exposed, mm. and we have our viewers quartered. We do need some kind of a plot device, though. Yeah. Some, some reason why they all have their shirts off all the time. I suppose. Uh -huh. That makes sense. But what? Mm. Yes. What? Mm. Such a good question. But I've got it. Swimming! Yeah! Oh my god, that's brilliant! Yeah. Nobody's ever done an anime about guys swimming before. Yeah! All right. Genius! Alright guys, are we really gonna sacrifice everything that we've learned about storytelling to just obscurely put guys on stage without their shirts on? Oh no! Um, Nuh-uh! Because that's what Yahweh's for! <laughs> so, uh, they don't tell her? We can yeah, throw on a couple of girls, make a less family. Yeah, um, one, one girl, okay. and she's the sister of one of the main characters, so that makes her off limits and not incest. Oh. I keep that. Somebody, somebody out there said that. How about two girls? Yeah. Okay. And one of them's like their old school teacher or librarian or something along those lines. <laughs> that makes her clearly off limits. I'm <laughs> just agreeing with you. Guys, this is gonna be the best idea ever. It's gonna work out so well. I think it's actually We should put the pitch. Here. We should put it up online onto Tumblr for the whole world to see for free. <gasps> oh, it'll be free. It'll be so freaking free. That'll be the title of the anime itself. Free the swimming anime. <laughs> it's genius. <laughs> Charlotte's guys, homo no. anime sports for everybody.
because that wasn't clearly evidence at all. Mr. Wright, would you please provide your opening statement? Absolutely, Your Honor. My client is definitely not guilty, as none of my clients ever really are. And over the course of this case, I will prove that the defense has lovingly cared for all 151 of his... Wait a second. When do you have 151 of these things? How do you keep them all in that tiny house of yours? Um, in their Pokeballs, obviously. You mean to tell me you keep a 20-foot dragon in this tiny little ball? Yes, sir! What about, like, letting them out for bathroom breaks or, or food? Do you just have these balls, like 151 of them, rolling around in your living room? Well, I keep I keep some of them in a computer as well, and they don't seem to need food or water, really. My Magikarp, he's been in his Pokeball since I caught him six months ago! You Your kept Honor. a fish, literally out of water for six months. Like, some of them get exercise. My Pikachu refuses to go in his ball, so he just follows me around. Oh, my Pidgey flies me anywhere in the world I want to go. Your Honor, I think the defense is doing my case for me at this rate. I, I really don't need to call any witnesses. I think Mr. Wright might be wrong about this one. I don't think he talked to his client before the case again. Your Honor, please. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for all of this behavior. I'd love to hear it. Oh, there sure is. To train them to battle against other Pokemon! Wait. You actually use them to fight one another? Of course, there's money on the line. Whoa! I'm starting to think that more than just Peta is going to have a problem with this one, Your Honor. Oh, yeah! They can't die. They just faint. And then they move on to the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. You do what? Objection. Your Honor, he's badgering his clients. Objection? To what? It's my client. I can badger him if I want. OK, fair enough. Let me get this straight. You collect. Borderline hoard these creatures in an attempt to get one of every single one. You keep them in these small, confined little quarters without allocation for food, water, bathroom breaks, anything really. And on top of that, you battle them to the death. No, not to the death. Like I said, they faint and they're totally fine with it. Not helping. You battle them to the point of complete exhaustion, and then when you're done, the other guy pays you like some sick gambling ring at cage matches. Pretty much. Order, order. I think we've heard enough here. Defendant, do you have any evidence whatsoever as to why we shouldn't throw you away in jail for the rest of your life? Well, like, I mean, I've beaten Team Rocket like a bajillion times. Oh. So you're one of them vigilante types then, aren't you? Yep. I guess that makes this okay then. The court hereby finds the defendant not guilty. Yes! Yes! something here? This is bullshit! You're an awful lawyer! You're just as bad! And that hair's not convincing! Neither is yours! Ah, uh, no! That's my hair! You haven't seen the last of PETA! 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 <laughs> Another win for Phoenix Wright! You can't call that a win, dude. You didn't do anything. Whatever. Fair. That's a fair point. Why don't we go check out some of these Pokemon cage matches? You know what? I kind of want to try it. My name is Ann Shoji. It's been two years since I've been trapped in the world and able to log out. As the Wave Master Sutasa, I could live a life free from the torches of the real world. But that was a long time ago. Oh, this is my girlfriend, Mariko. I also met her in the world. You know, even the virtual world, she had a big heart. She taught me what was really important in life. Hey, Ann, I've got a new game for us to play. Oh, yeah? What's it called? Sword Art Online. An MMO? You know I don't play those anymore. Oh, and on it'll be fun. It's not like we have a Okay, I'll play for the release week, but after that, you're on your own. Great, here's the worker. I'm gonna regret this. Please start! Welcome to Sword Art Online. Please make your character selections. Okay, so I want to be a, a wave master. There aren't any wave masters or spell casters or anything like that. Everything's done with swords and sword skills. Okay, I'll be a one-handed sword user. Why do you always have to be a guy? Because it's more fun. Fine, well, I'm gonna be a knight. Suit yourself. Please name your characters. Subaru. Sukasa. That's okay. Oh. 
Everything's so beautiful. Man, Nerf Gear technology is really advanced. Yeah, beautiful, gorgeous. Let's go kill something! I'll go first. <laughs> kind of delay, but piece of cake! My turn! Why would you do that? <laughs> Man, I forgot how addicting these games can be. Whoa. Teleport? What? What happened? We're back in beginning town? Welcome, players, to my world, the world of sword art online. My name is Kaiba Akira, and I created this game, as well as designed the nerve gear you are now using. By now, Many of you have noticed that you don't have a logout option in the menu. That's because I have disabled the option to quit the game, trapping you all here. Any attempts to remove your nerve gear forcefully will result in your death. If you die in the game, you will also die in real life. The only way to secure freedom for everyone is for someone to successfully climb to the top of a 100 level tower and defeat me in combat. This was my ultimate achievement in life and will all participate in this social experiment to its fullest. Good luck. Uh, I can't believe it. It happened again. I'm trapped again. I am here once again. What are the odds? Tell me, friends, to be stuck. That's 
stupidest plot I've ever heard you utter. What? All you do is say how shitty Toronto is, yet you want to rule it? Doesn't make any sense to me. I, I, I don't want to rule it. I want to destroy it! Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, once I've destroyed it, I shall go on to destroy the world. Along with yourself. What? If you destroy the world, you will have destroyed yourself too. But then everyone will know that I destroyed it. Who's everyone? They will have all died. This, this is ridiculous. This is all your fault. I hate you. You only hate me because I'm better than you. What? You vowed to beat me ever since I beat you at the race back at the academy. Yeah, even after I sabotaged every part of the race to make you lose. Well, maybe you spent more time on the actual race itself. You might have actually won. <laughs> now, yeah, well, you know what? Once I push this conveniently placed button, all of Toronto shall be ripped from the ground, leaving you to drown to death in the remains. You fool. This whole time you could easily destroy me. Oh, yeah. But yet you chose to monologue. Uh, Enough of uh, Do you know why I do this? Why I choose to be so villainous? Why I choose to be so evil? Because someone took your limited edition ultra rare promo holographic Charizard with a misprint? It was Charizard! It was so rare and with so much money! How did you know? Because someone took my chance, you can relate to me I'm sympathetically. And empathetically. <laughs> <laughs> You're the, the, the hero of my villain. <laughs> and, you're the, and you're the villain to my... Oh! Whoa! I'll have to jail with you. I don't I don't know. Know. Last time on Dragon Ball Z, the enigmatic bad guys finally acquired the last of the Dragon Balls. Now only Goku and his friends can stand between them and the destruction of planet Earth. <laughs> now that I have all the Dragon Balls and the prophecy, I will be in step of it. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? You're fine. What? to extract the dragon's semen from the dragon balls and use it to impregnate a surrogate mother with the dragon Shenron. You're kidding. Well, no. Why did you think they were called dragon balls? <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Is that why it takes a full bar, uh, full year before we can use them again? Yeah, they have to recharge their juice. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess we're counting on you, Bulma. What? What? You're the only girl here. We need you to stay. No, 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 not happening! But, Bulma, uh, help us. Actually, it says here that the only real restriction isn't someone's gender, it's their power level. It has to be over 1,000, see? But, but Bulma's power level is only 106. Goodness. Exactly, that's why she's not suitable. But then who? Who in this wide world can we find that could take on such an arduous task? Yamcha? Nah, he's a bitch. Oh, but we, we should find somebody. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> you can't be. No! No, I'm not gonna do it! No way! That is asking a little too much. Are you. Also, it was me having to mother the dragon, it was fine, but now that that's you, it's out of the question, you. You hypocrite! Shut up, you blue-haired bitch! Well, Krillin, if you don't do this, nowhere will be safe. Krillin, the whole planet will be destroyed. I don't care! Let it be destroyed! We'll live in a spaceship like Wally. Your dad can build one. 
Will, and be reasonable. Be reasonable? You are asking me to give birth to a freaking dragon! We're asking you to be the hero for what's so exactly thinking of just yourself! Will, and everyone we know and love will be destroyed. Think of Android 18. All right, I'll do it. Really? Yeah, I want Android 18 to die. That's just my wife. That was way too easy. All right, you just stand there, and I'm going to deal with this. Right here, or there, here, okay. Uh, um, so, quick question. Mm -hmm. uh, is this going to hurt? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come uh, can we, like, rethink this?
because you slept with my sister. You know as little as your sister who is also your mother. I will defeat you. Ha! Uh, ha! Hang, hang on, hang on, sorry. This entire uh, next page is just like grunting and hitting noises. Right, well, we're going to animate 15 minutes of fighting and just have you guys do the sound effects for us. Let's throw on some action music just to kind of set the mood, all right? Perfect. Prepare to fight! You're mine! Ha! 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> now that is really getting into your character. Actually, I think he passed out. Whatever. So we're going to move on to the next scene. It's the love scene, and because you're the only person left, you're going to voice for both characters, alright? But Just go back in the booth. Back in the booth. No, just read the script. It's all there. You'll be fine. Stick to the script. Dad. Hi, Ed. Hi, Winry. Do I go for a ride, Ed? Sure, Winry. I'm a full metal girl. I'm a full metal girl. Oh, Winry, touch my full metal penis. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, Winry. Uh, Man, it's kind of weird. All these old anime series are coming back. It's actually kind of sad there's no new ideas coming out at all anymore. Maybe we should go online to Tumblr and see what's trending. Welcome to our fandom. Welcome to our fandom. We're so glad you came in. Welcome to my fandom. Exterminate. It was replaced. He only lasts for four, three years. Now there's some new old guy, and we must respect him still. Take my money, put it on my bill. Wait, one minute ago you didn't even like Peter Capaldi, and now you're just willingly throwing your money around. Well, yeah, that's what it's like in our fandom. I mean, one minute you hate the new guy, because he's not Matt Smith! I didn't realize he's perfect. Oh, God, I hate him. Get me out of this fandom. I can't stand it anymore. Ah! Welcome to our fandom, there's tons of shirtless guys. Some of people say there is a story that's a bunch of lies. Cause they go swimming all the time and it is really fun. You just watch them masturbate and then you're done. So all this is, is just great animation of dudes swimming. Yeah, pretty much. What if you're trying to watch the series and you're a straight guy? Wait, you wanna watch the anime free and you're straight? That's not for you. Go and kill a kill. <laughs> Welcome to my fandom, my cause a piece of shit. 
All our guests walked out on us, but we have a ball pen. No! Nope. <laughs> Welcome to my fandom. By two, there's a lot. You're almost guaranteed to get a lady's panty shot. And sure, I started cosplaying before episode one. I'll uh, attach myself to something that's not done. Say, Ruby! What's that? Shh. So, did you just watch Ruby, or did you watch Red vs. Blue as well? Red versus Blue? You know the first show Rooster Teeth started in the premiere? Rooster Teeth? Oh, now you're funny. saying shit that doesn't make any sense. Like, Seriously. Like, what are you people? Oh, Jesus God, no, you too. Welcome to my fandom. This wizard will be seven books in the series, but there aren't any more. Oh, God, why? musical do we have to look forward to now? Not apparently. Do you remember the good old days? Remember Harry Potter back in 1998? When the Jurassic Scholastic Book Fair would come to your local school library? Do you remember when every little boy and girl wanted to be a witch or wizard? And do you remember picking up any old stick, any old stick, and pretending oh, it was a wand? Do you remember when things were good? Yeah, I do. Just take a seat. Welcome to my fandom, it's the world of fanfic. Sure, there's a lot of writers who are completely sick. And lots of fans just want to share their stories all again. And some of them will help you and even be your friend. So just dive in and say hello, your stories will be Legends tell. 
Marcel of Coral, a powerful bender who accomplished many feats in her day. However, it has been many years since the day she passed, and the Avatar cycle has continued. The new Avatar is a powerful being. He even discovered a new bending power. Heart. <laughs> Last-ditch effort from producers hoping to milk the hell out of everything we love. Captain Planet vs. Naruto, Rise of the Earth Kingdom. Believe it. Oh, oh, oh. 
hold up. Do you also like Pokemon? Hell yeah. Shit, which game did you get? Alpha Sapphire. Nice, I got a Mega Ruby. Oh my god. Let me give you a different color. Yeah. Okay, okay, alright. 69. 69. Yeah. One, two, three, 69. 69. Yeah, two. Hey, bro. What's your name? Uh, me? Jesse. Jesse B. What's yours? Satchel. Okay, that's weird. But we should be friends! Ha! 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 So here we are, three mages on a quest. Of course there's a fourth, but as you might have guessed, he doesn't understand what it is to be a mage. But we're gonna tell you now, gonna open that cage, gonna let you in, gonna turn that page in the book that is the story of our lives, the glory of a fantasy, a final fantasy. And if you wanna hear about it, I'm the man to see. I am the red mage, I can do it all. Both kinds of magic and sword play too, y'all. So many skills that it takes to be a hero. A jack of all trades, but the master of zero. What am I great at? Nothing I'm told. You see, I always get the bronze, but never the gold. Well, someday soon, I hope to be the best. Just for a moment, better than the rest. Whoa! My life is a tragic paradox. I said, whoa! Box. Why am I afraid to pick a scepter or a blade? I can focus on one son I'd have it made. Until that day, I'm just a man on a quest. Mark my words, I'm gonna be the best. Hey there's me, the team's only lady. I throw like a girl and I punch like a baby. All the guys at the party tend to take me for granted. This enchanted maid is a shade, it's enchanted. I am your equal, what a silly notion. To thought about the size of promotion in my potion. I don't ask for much for someone to say. Hey, why you make poor job today? Maybe I don't have the strength to wield an elven sword or a mithril shield. But my heart is strong and my wand is too. So try to keep in mind that without me you'd be so screwed. I'm a black page, but I bet you do that. Yellow eyes by the sky. Do you like my pony head? I'm a master of the elephant. All that's irrelevant. I step into a room and I'm invariably the elephant. Not just a fire roll, most are pretty smart. And the fire from my head comes directly from my heart. Push comes to shove, I want friends, I want love, I want pride to eat, family, all of the above. But I'll be damned if I'm dead. Wouldn't it be tragic if I let you judge me by the color of my magic? And even if you're pregnant and you wanna make a mess, you're gonna be incredible. I'll show you what I'll let. I'm just a lowly black maid. Stop doing the lights! Give me that and gah! Okay, what the heck's going on? 
on here? I would not be standing there if I were you. Oh, why? So I can let you kill this poor, defenseless lion? Even L'Oreal wouldn't work with you again. Ooh. One, my hair is fabulous without them. Fair enough. And two, I would not be standing there if I were you, because that Leon one is going to kill you. What? This poor, beautiful creature wouldn't do anything like that. Would you, little guy? Who's the cutie? Who's the Lion King? You are not the Banyas! <laughs> Some other words I don't know in African. Uh, <laughs> Who the fuck? Die, beauty human! What? <laughs> 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 it's been a while since I've had human for lunch. Wait, what did he say? Somebody help me! Help me! Pin You got it, friend! <laughs> So what did you make? Okay, so get this. I wrote this really awesome song. It medleys over 15 different classic uh, anime tunes. And uh, yeah, it's like four pages long. It'll be epic. We can learn it in time. <clears throat> uh, I don't know, man. I think this might be copyrighted. Like, I feel like we might get sued a trillion dollars over this. No one's gonna know. Excuse me, he's, Joshua Barbo? He's the director. Christian Michael Tito O'Leary? Yeah. Oh, well, you've been served. It means we're getting sued. One trillion dollars? But what are we gonna do? We're gonna have to end the show with you half naked. As the, Leomon. The Leomon sketch? Yeah, I guess that's what we're gonna have to do, man. It's a horrible idea. Oh, do you have any better ones? We have two hours! No. <laughs> Let's just put on the sketch. Screw the lawyers. <laughs>
that my ancient ancestors taught me back when they were Hokage. Ra! Sang! Let's do it tomorrow! 